Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this screencast in which we are going to talk about the put call parity condition. What we are going to do is we are going to use this condition to find out the value of a call first. Uh, we could also use the condition to find out the value of the put if it was so uh, needed. And then we are going to in our second uh, section of the analysis, we are going to find out the R which is the rate of interest per annum, uh, the risk free rate of interest per annum. For that we have some information with us. The stock price is given $30 per share. The value of the put is given $1 per put options contract. Exercise price of $25 per um, put options contract is given to us and we are given with an estimate of risk free rate of return 16.32% per annum. Pretty high risk free rate of interest I must say. Um, what we need to do is we need to find out the value of a call. So, without solving, uh, we can find out what um, we expect the value of the call to be. Is it going to be higher than the value of the put or lower than the value of the put? Now, if you look at the difference between the exercise price and the stock price, you realize that the exercise price is less than the stock price. So, it is going to be beneficial for us to um, if we wanted to sell the stock, we would sell it in the open market and get a price of $30 per share rather than exercising our put option and uh, getting a $25 per share price on that. So therefore, since, um, the, um, since we are going to let our option expire in this case, the uh, put option is out of money because um, your exercise price is less than the stock price. So, our answer here, what do you expect C to be? Higher than P or lower than P? Our answer here would be higher than the put option. Why? Because if the put is uh, out of the money, then the call is going to be in the money. And any um, options contract that is in the money is going to be in demand and that would increase its value. So, for this uh, reason here why we simply write because uh, the put is out of the money and why is put out of the money because exercise price is less than the stock price. Now, let us look at the put call parity condition we say the stock price plus the put value is always equal to the call value plus the present value of the exercise price. Now, one thing needs to be noted here. When we are solving for the present value of the exercise price, we are not discounting on a discrete basis. If we were discounting this exercise price on a discrete basis, we would simply say E over 1 plus R raised to the power of number of time periods. Uh, instead, what we are going to do is we are going to discount this exercise price E by using continuous discounting and for that we use this expression E raised to the power of uh, rate of interest times the time period and where the value of E is a mathematical constant 2.7182813. Now, let us use the put call parity condition to find out the value of a call option. In this case, let us write for this S, let us write 30 because 30 is our stock price plus the value of the put is given to us $1 is equal to the value of the call we have to find out plus now what we have to do? We have to discount the exercise price and that is uh, $25. Let us write 25 and then let us divide this 25 by E and raise this to the power of R times T and R times T here would be what is R? R is given uh, let us see where it is 16.32 percent per annum. So, let us write here 16.32 percent per annum. So, 0.1632 and <coughs> multiplied by the time. The time is uh, is it given to us? It is not given to us. So, let us uh, make an estimate for the time time let us say is equal to 90 days and 90 days is going to be one fourth of a year is not it. So, let us write here one fourth of the year 1 over 4 and then let us close this bracket. Now, 30 plus 1 on the left hand side becomes 31 
is equal to um, this thing had to be plus here so let's do that and then carry on 31 is equal to C plus 25 divided by E raised to the power of this item here 0.1632 times 1 over 4 when you do that on your calculator you are going to get this number for this 1.0416 and after that 31 minus you take this entire term to the left hand side so that you can isolate the uh, C so we write it here and that becomes your C and in this case it is going to be 6.99 is equal to C or simply equal to about seven dollars so seven dollars will be the value of the call option we expected the value of the call op option to be higher than the put option and that is what we have verified here numerically now let us use the same data let's also write here t is equal to 90 days let's assume the same data and find out the r we already know the answer it's going to be 16.32 percent so we have uh, stock value $30, put value $1, exercise price <coughs> $25, time 90 days for the option to expire and the call value $7. And if we want to find out the R now by using the put call parity condition, let us see how we can do that. Let us start writing in our values. Stock price 30 plus the value of the put 1 is equal to call value 7 plus in the bracket we are going to write $25 exercise price and then divide this by E raised to the power of R now we don't know R so we will have to write it just like this and times 1 over 4 let's close the bracket and go on to the next step on the left hand side 30 plus 1 becomes 31 is equal to 7 plus and then in the bracket we have 25 divided by e raised to the power of now this r times 1 over 4 can be simply written as r over 4 so let us write it here r over 4 and then let's close the bracket let's go ahead and take this 7 now to the left hand side and it is going to become 31 minus 7 and that will give us 31 minus 7 gives us 24 and is equal to 25 divided by this same item here so let's just copy it from here and paste it this is what we get and then let's continue downwards 24 and now look at this 25 it's in the numerator on the right hand side so if we take this thing to the left hand side it's going to come into the denominator so what we are going to have here is 24 over 25 and what we are going to be left with on the right hand side 1 over the same thing again e raised to the power of r over 4 so let's write that here again now 24 over 25 gives us 0 0.96 is equal to now look at the right hand side this is 1 over uh, e raised to the power of r over 4 and we can also write this as if we don't write want to write it in a fraction format we can write simply as e raised to the power of minus r over 4 now let's see what we can do now what we are going to do is we are going to take the natural log on both sides and this is going to be easy on your calculator functions you will find out and find out a key which says ln what we are going to use that key so ln of 0 0.96 is going to give you minus 0 0.0408 and on the right hand side if you take the natural log what happens is this exponent is going to come here first minus r over 4 and then after that we are going to write the natural log of e so let's write here ln of e so let's put this thing in bracket here this one and this one 
and ln of e my friends is always equal to 1 by default so what we have here is minus 0 0.0408 is equal to minus r minus r over 4 ln of e becomes 1 so we just ignore that from here it's very simple to find out the value of r r is going to be now on the left hand side we have minus 0 0.0408 and we take this 4 also to the left hand side here and it's going to get multiplied because at the moment here it's getting divided by minus r so here on the left hand side it gets multiplied and that leaves you with minus r on the right hand side and this product is going to be minus 0 0.1632 is equal to minus r and therefore that means r is equal to 0 0.1632 or 16.32 percent so that was it thank you very much bye bye